Old Sneelock. You've been watching me make a new fixture for the workshop. It's a way to take the rust off of parts. Uh, I usually use electrolysis in the summertime, but in the wintertime it's kind of nice to be able to put the vinegar bath down here in the basement. I don't want to do electrolysis because of the hydrogen released. Vinegar doesn't seem to cause any problems and it doesn't smell bad as long as you use apple cider vinegar. So this is kind of a throw together piece to see how it works. Uh, I think it's going to be just fine. I'll probably trim it up and clean up the base a bit. Might even throw a little varnish on it, who knows. But it's going to do exactly what I want it to do, which is the whole idea of the thing. Jigs don't have to be fancy, they just have to work. Thanks a lot for watching. Got the base all glued together, but it's in really kind of cobbled up shape. So what I'm going to do is just square it up. I'm planting in grain, which is why everything is coming out powdery. And this is just a Craftsman number four saw size uh, plane that I picked up for I think it was ten dollars maybe twelve dollars at an antique store. It was pretty rusty. I cleaned it up and uh, it seems to be working quite well. It's not a high dollar plane. It's got plastic knobs on it. But it's from the 60s I guess. Don't know, I'd have to look that up. Uh, has a steel adjustment nut on it. It doesn't have the little screw in the bottom that you see sometimes on the higher end planes to allow you to adjust the frog back and forth. So you have to do that by eye and you loosen the screws up underneath there and then set the mouth. I'm not going to pop it open because I got it all set to cut this end grain. And it's doing a great job. Not bad. Got a little split out on the end, but I'm going to take this down quite a bit. So that little bit of split out is going to go right away. Now, this much I probably could take it off with a saw. But I'm just going to do it with a plane. Because it's not that much and it's kind of fun to use a plate. Got one carried away there. that little piece on the end so I don't break out that plywood. Not too shabby. That's going to work quite well. 
I'm going to put some paint on this just so it doesn't get stained up from the rusty vinegar. And for that, I'm going to have to take it outside. Base is all painted, ready for our first batch. Since it was built with the idea of making this file whole, I think that's going to be my first batch. Cap's just a little bit short. I think I'm going to leave the cap off. Now we'll come down, let's see, it's about 8 o'clock at night. I'll come down tomorrow and we'll take a look and see what's happened. You can see the rust built up in the teeth of the rasp. When I put it into the vinegar, that was so hard I couldn't get it to come loose even with a scraper. Four hours in a vinegar bath, rust comes right off. That's the carbon left over from when the steel rots away, it forms iron oxide. The carbon is left out of the matrix and it builds up on the surface of the vial. And the whole time all I'm smelling is apples. Old Smealock here again. Thanks for watching. Have you subscribed yet? If you enjoyed the video, please take a moment and click the thumbs up.